Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. Today is Thursday and marks another trading day of the week. So before we go to the chat, let's check fundamentals. And today being Thursday, we have unemployment claims at 12.30 Ghana time. And looking at the fundamentals, we are expecting negative news. Freddy Fed Manufacturing Index, we are expecting negative news. So today, unemployment claims, gold flies. If it comes out negative as expected, gold flies. And 2 p.m., we have existing home sales, and that one too, we are expecting negative. All right. So let's go back to the chat. And first of all, let me clear the chat now and go back to daily time frame. Hmm. 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 Okay. Something is really happening. So looking at gold on daily, this is it. And you can see that yesterday, gold broke that the structure again. Okay. Gold broke structure to the downside, as you can see. And also, for this zone, it couldn't reach there. Right. So if you look at the daily time frame, you can see that um, on Tuesday, Tuesday candle gave us a doji. After um, Monday candle giving a strong bullish, Tuesday gave doji and Wednesday gave strong bearish, closing below Tuesday's low. All right. So, and you can see that it also closed below the opening of Friday's bearish candle. It closed below, meaning there has been a break of structure right there. But the question is is this break of structure real or fake? All right. That is the question we should ask ourselves. So if the breakout is real, then today we should expect more sales. But if it is fake, gold will still fly. And how would we see it is fake? We will see because the weekly time frame has not closed yet. All right. So since the weekly has not closed, anything that happens to the daily can be a fake out. All right. Yeah. So let's look at H4. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So if you are looking at H4, This is what we have right away. And you can see that one, two, three, and fourth touch on the trend line. Okay. And on the fourth touch, there was a zone there. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, nice one there. So, um, there was also another breakout. Let's try to make meanings everywhere so we know exactly what we are doing. When you turn to H4, this is the zone that needs to be broken or needs to be retested. As you can see, gold broke that 2377 zone. So 
the market needs to retest that level. And if it respects, then we are going to experience a push to the downside. But if it breaks, gold will keep flying. All right. And nobody should tell you that overall, gold is bullish, right? Gold has been bullish since here, 1987, 1985. It has been bullish since, 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 since. And it keeps on flying. All right. So once gold reached 23.77 and it respects, we can sell gold back to 23.60. But if it breaks, then gold go into the moon. Okay, so H1, what is happening in H1? Now, if you come to H1, you can also see another level which got broken yesterday. And now it broke to the downside. It has been broken to the upside again and has retested and gold flying. So like I said, what is actually happening? What we need to do is to exercise much patience and wait okay that is what we need patience and then we are going to win okay so this is the zone that we should expect it to respect or breaks once the zone is broken to the dark side we will buy if you, if you respect, then we can look for sales. All right. So all we need to do is to exercise patience and wait. So far, these are our zones for the day. All right. These are all our zones for the day. Yeah. So one, two, three, any of them where the market respects, we will get opportunity. Okay. So we need just to wait until we get clear directions that the market is ready to push. Then we follow. Okay. So when you come to 30 minutes, If you come to 30 minutes, this is what is happening. And you can see the market broke this structure to the downside, but broke to the upside and it has retested and came all the way to this zone and is trying to respect. But we need to wait, okay? We need to wait. We need to wait and see what is going to happen, okay? So if the market respects this zone, we can sell gold back down here to the trend line. If it breaks, we can buy gold to the upside, 2400 level. Okay. So all we need to do is to exercise patience and wait. All right. So guys, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You comment, you like, and you share the video as well. Okay. This is Pip Hunter here, and the Pip must pay. Make sure to manage your risk very well because you have no idea of which trade hitting your TP and your SL. It is only risk management which can keep you active in the game for the long run. So until then, I will see you in another video. Make sure you follow the process and the results will surely come and have a nice day.